What value can we truly assign to wisdom and faith? Can they be measured in gold, silver, or material riches? Or do they transcend these earthly treasures carrying a worth that is immeasurable and eternal? Consider this. Imagine you're offered gold refined in the fire a symbol of wealth and power. But this gold comes with a caveat. It's not just to fill your coffers or to flaunt your status. It's an invitation to become rich in a way that surpasses physical wealth. It's an opportunity to clothe yourself in white covering not your physical nakedness, but the shame of ignorance and unenlightenment. This gold also serves as a salve for your eyes, not to cure physical blindness, but to open your eyes to the truth, to wisdom, to the beauty of faith. It is a call to see, really see, the world around you, the divine dance of life and existence. Friendship and brotherhood too, are treasures beyond measure. A friend loves at all times, offering a constant beacon of care and understanding. A brother, on the other hand, is a companion in adversity, a pillar of strength when the winds of hardship blow. But what of the man who lacks judgment? The one who pledges without thought, who secures his neighbor's debt without understanding the weight of his actions. What use is money in the hand of a fool if he has no intention of buying wisdom? True wealth lies not in the abundance of possessions but in the richness of wisdom and understanding. Life may serve you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, but remember, your teacher, the ultimate source of wisdom, will not hide himself. With your own eyes you will see him. Faith is not just a belief, it is an action, a commitment, a journey towards perfection. Remember the words of Jesus, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. His instruction is not to be discarded or dismissed, it is to be cherished, followed, and shared. So desecrate your silver-plated idols and gold-plated images, cast them aside like worthless cloths, say to them, be gone, for true wealth and wisdom lie not in idols but in the divine truth. Listen to the command that echoes behind you. This is the way, walk in it. It's an invitation to journey on the path of wisdom, to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and to teach obedience to his commands. Remember Abraham, justified by his actions when he offered his son Isaac on the altar, his faith was not passive. It was active, demonstrated through his actions. In the end, remember this. You are not alone on this journey. The divine presence is with you always, even to the end of the age. So as we journey through this life, let us seek not just material riches, but the wealth of wisdom and faith. Let us strive to see with eyes unclouded by ignorance, to love unconditionally, to walk in the path of righteousness and to act in faith. For in doing so, we discover the true value of wisdom and faith.